So we have finished talking about adding and subtracting fractions. So now it's time to move on and to start multiplying with fractions. And you'll be glad to hear that it actually um, is a lot um, easier or more straightforward than adding and subtracting fractions. Yeah? But still very important to understand what you're actually doing. Let's have a look for instance at 3 over 4, uh, 3 quarters times, what shall we do? So we do 2? No, we'll do 3. 3 quarters times 3. How much does that equal to? And for this example, I'm going to draw it again for you. And I'm going to draw, uh, well, let's draw three pizzas. Yeah, because you know by now I love pizzas. And three of them because I have three quarters here. Yeah, that's one times three quarters. I have another pizza, yeah, different flavor. I have three quarters of that one. And I'll have a margarita as well, and I'll have three quarters of that pizza. Three times three quarters. Now the question is then, how many quarters do I have? How many quarters do I have? I want to put my answer here, yeah, because I want to write something there in a minute. How many quarters do I have? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine quarters. Yeah, three quarters, three over four times three equals to nine quarters. And if you simplify that, nine over four, yeah, because as you uh, already saw that is a top heavy fraction and improper fraction. Nine quarters, eh? how many times does four fit into nine? That's two whole ones and I have a remainder of one, so one over four. And that is true because if I would take this slice away here and I stick it over here, that is one full pizza. I'll grab this slice and I'll stick it over here, so that is another full pizza and a quarter left, two and a quarter. Now, before we move on to the next video, what I, I write to, like to write here is this is what you're actually doing. When you are multiplying with fractions times the three as a fraction is three over one. Do we agree with that? Yeah, the number three, the three, uh, three units is three over one. If you are multiplying fractions, you multiply the numerators with each other, 3 times 3, that's 9, and you multiply the denominators with each other, 4 times 1 is 4. So you do not have to manipulate them, you do not have to find equivalent fractions and make sure that those denominators are the same, like you have to do when you're adding or subtracting. No, when you are multiplying and also dividing, I will show you later, you do not have to manipulate those fractions. You multiply the numerators, you multiply denominators, you simplify. I'll see you at the next video for example questions.